Now let's begin uh, again with a fun fact. In recent years, prices for downtown condos in Manhattan are up from 1.3 million on average to 2.1 million, and vacancy rates are at a seven-year low. That's not good news if you're looking to buy or to rent, incidentally. My daughter lives in Manhattan. But it's great news for our next honoree. Will Bruce Gray please join me? Bruce is Senior Vice President of Bank of America Merrill Lynch. He works with commercial and real estate developers and commercial real estate private equity funds, providing term loans and construction financing for large commercial buildings. Bruce has primary responsibilities for fulfilling the credit needs of commercial real estate funds and developers based in the New York metropolitan area. He graduated from Penn State Erie, the Barron campus, in 1980 and has spent his career working with Fortune 500 companies in finance and corporate lending. It's a privilege to now present the Alumni Fellow Award to Bruce Gray. Thank you, President Barron. This is quite an honor, like everyone before me. I'm very humbled by this. Never thought I'd be up here. I'd like to thank the Penn State Alumni Association the people at the Black School of Business and the Barron College, and especially Dr. Raja Gopalan. I appreciate the support of my wife and my family. I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for their support. Financial professionals can become pretty obsessed with the calculation and determination of the monetary value of something. I was very interested in recent news stories about the value of a college education. The common thread in the stories was that each arrived at the monetary value of an education. I have never thought about the value of my Penn State education in monetary terms. How can I place a monetary value on learning the skills that, in the, that have enabled me to pursue my passion for corporate and real estate finance? How many times are we faced with a situation where it seems like there are a myriad of paths that lead to an unsuccessful conclusion and very few paths that lead to a successful conclusion. The business simulation that was part of the business capstone classes for all business majors were required to take was one of the first times I had to navigate my way along the few paths to success. The most valuable part of my education has been the spirit Penn State alumni share. 35 years ago, Jack Beakley, a Penn State alumnus, made sure that my resume would be read for a job I had applied for at the Money Center Bank in New York City where Jack worked. In a few months, I'll celebrate my 35th anniversary of being and living and working in New York. Thank you, Jack. I'm very lucky to be part of a strong Penn State alumni network at my job. We're get dedicated to not only providing Penn State students with professional opportunities, but providing those students with a support network to help ensure their success throughout their careers. This acceptance message is really pretty ironic. A financial professional explaining to you that he can't put a monetary value on an education that has contributed so greatly to his professional success. Thank you and congratulations to all the other honorees tonight.